Are you filming? Yes. Okay, cool. Hold on just a sec. I'm going to open the door first with my keys. And welcome to the Linus Tech Tip Show, where we are not going to be unboxing four separate routers. We are actually going to be doing one router. This one. This is Western Digital's almost, well, no, this is their flagship router. This is the Minet N900, which is apparently about effortless entertainment. Okay, that's good. That's good. I know what they mean by that, and I will explain, but it's a very cryptic thing to put on the front of the box. Effortless entertainment. I, I'm putting effort into it already. I have to open the bag. That's not effortless. And I'm not entertained at all. This is ridiculous. False advertising. Ba bait and switch. Bait and switch! That's what customers love to say. Bait and switch whenever something's wrong. Okay. 450 plus 450 megabit dual band concurrent performance, which gives you that N900 rating. HD dual band router. Okay, got it. This is the best range out of their lineup. Features 1, 2, 3. Easy setup. Full 1080p, and it better, seven gigabit ports. This is cool. Why hasn't anyone done this? The home is so connected now. Why does everyone make you, like, where did I put it? I had a switch here. Why does everyone make you buy their, like, switch separately and give you only four ports on your router? Thank you, Western Digital, for providing an adequate number of ports on your high-performance router. Uh, Multi-HD streams, and the most important thing about this router Fast Track Plus. So Fast Track Plus is basically WD's proprietary QoS, that's quality of service, that dynamically analyzes the traffic coming in and out of your router, looks at it and goes, okay, that traffic is sort of like shaped like this. That's probably a game. I'm going to prioritize that over something else that's less important, like that's torrent traffic. It actually does not rely on any manual input from the user. It does not rely on any profiles written by WD to prioritize certain applications, which is the case for the two lower end routers, the MyNet 600 and the 750. And it also doesn't require any updates to continue to dynamically update itself to provide the best quality of service it can without any input from the user. That's what they mean by effortless. And it's not really effortless. I mean, I had to take this thing out of the box and I have to peel the plastic off the top. It's like a job. I mean, this is my job, but you know, whatever, you guys get the point. Okay, so let's have a look at what WD has to say for themselves. More access, so you can connect WD's MyBook Live storage to this with up to two USB ports, one USB 3 port, cool. Um, for remote access with their WD to go and WD Photos applications. More control, the MyNet dashboard, okay, so this is just your their branding for controlling your router. More simplicity, supports UPnP and auto configuration, good, okay. More HTS, Fast Track Plus, very good, awesome. More advanced features, okay, we've been through this, parental controls, auto sensing, antenna amplifiers, right, so this one has the best range out of their range, ha, of routers. And you can see that they have it positioned as being just like the Uberist in every possible way. So they've all got push button, WPS setup, IPv6, they are all ready for it. And this one, oh, look, it's, it's a DLNA server. So you can actually use this as a media server on your home network and, uh, well, access your media that you store on your WD hard drive that you attach to it, which is a convenient way for them to sell you more hard drives, which I don't inherently object to because it makes the product better. So why not? And it's not like they're forcing you to. You know, it's not like they include a hard drive with it and, you know, sell it to you for more, like this one, which we'll talk about later, okay? Uh, right, so let's have a look at the physicality of the unit. There's your power LED, your wireless LED, your internet LED, your WPS LED, and your WPS button. There's your matte finish on the top, which has, like, more of a performance pattern on it compared to the other ones, which are just solid matte. And there's your shiny outline, okay? There's your power button, DC in, two USB ports. Seven gigabit Ethernet ports. Again, kudos WD, way to go. Way to figure out what no one else could. That like, you know, 40 cents of extra Ethernet ports might actually make a difference to your customers. Um, there's your WAN port. So that's your internet port. There is, oh, it has a cooling fan. That better be quiet. Uh, I really hope that's only enabled like out of under heavy load. There's your reset switch and there's your ventilation holes. So this looks like an exhaust. So as long as you have this down like this, or wall mounted, it does come with flexible mounting options, and you shouldn't have any uh, shouldn't have any trouble with that. Included accessories include include 
the inclusion of a technical support and limited warranty guide, a start here guide with simple steps for people who don't know how to set up a router. I do, you know. Power cable and an ethernet cable. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Minet N900. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.